Hi, it's Elder, and in this video we will take a look at image overlay brick we have in Block Store, and it is the premium brick. It is the premium version of image this text brick we have in Blocks, and I think it is very good brick to use on your website. And I'm using it on a couple of my websites. For example, here in the Blocks section of my website, I have this for the thumbnails of this featured section. I have it in the sidebar and as you can see it gives us some easy access to the headings, description and buttons. And we can change the design for the animation as well and few other things. I also use it on my blocks templates website, you can see here it is a similar experience, a little bit different effect but it still looks pretty much the same. So let's go to the blocks app and try to add this brick here. And this one is the regular image this text brick. It only has the image and the text inside, but for the second image below we will add the image overlay. So I have it here installed on my computer image overlay brick and by default as you can see it has the title, description and the button. So if we select it, of course, we can change the theme from light to dark. So I prefer dark, but you can change it to light if you want. And here we can change the image. So let's set it to be this image. And even now, if we go to preview mode, we can already see that from simple image, we get this uh, overlay effect, dark overlay effect, this title, description and the button. So let's try to change the style to light theme, go back to the preview mode and you can see that now it is dark text on white overlay. So I will use the dark one and we can change of course the alternative text which is used for SEO description, very important. And we can change the font for this title and we can change the actual text for title and description. I will leave it as it is for now, but I will show you how you can change the style. And uh, of course we have the button here as well, we can change the text for the button. So let's say purchase or buy now, if you have some product here. And we can link this button to the page or URL. And if it is the page, you can just select it from drop down menu here. If, if it is the URL, you can just type the URL down here. So this is my website, for example. And yeah, I mean, this is pretty much it. And the important thing here, of course, is that we can change the animation. So by default, it has the fade animation. So it is basically just fading effect like this, nothing fancy, but we can change it to a few others, for example, push up. So let's try to see how push up looks. You can see that it goes up from the bottom. So push down, you can guess what it is push left, push right, the same effect, just different direction. Then we have the zoom in, zoom in effect. You can see it goes from small to big and zoom out, it will be the opposite. So it will kind of go from big to small. And we have a couple others, flip X and flip Y. So for flip X, it is, well, it's actually very interesting. Uh, interesting effect here but I don't think I want to use it on my website. So most of the times I will just use fade effect which is very simple on the eye and it still looks great. So this is the basics we need to understand about this brick and I want to show you how you can change the style for this title, description and buy now button. So by default we can change only font here in the sidebar but if we go to preview mode and open the inspector as always we can find these elements and we have a few things like overlay title we have overlay description and of course we have overlay button which we can all add to custom class manager in our blocks project and change to what we want so let's start this overlay title and if we go to class manager and add the overlay title, class, open it in class editor, we can change pretty much everything. So let's make this bold, let's make it 
well it's aligned to the center already but we can change it here to be left or right I of course just use it on the center we can make it capital letters if we want we can increase the spacing between the elements between the letters we can change the size here and we can change it for each of the brick points so let's say for the medium brick point we will make it smaller so let's type 30 here not 5030 but just 30 and this way we will have the smaller text on the medium brick point so, so if you haven't already visit block store to download this and other bricks available from third-party developers I'm myself not developing any bricks, so all of these bricks are not developed by me, but I'm using a couple of them and I'm going to share more and more bricks I'm using this you here on this YouTube channel or in the mastering blocks course I have available on blocks master. So this is it for this video and if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments below if you're watching this video on YouTube or you can send it to me by email if you are the student of mastering blocks free course uh, which is available of course on blocksmaster.com so thank you for watching this video and talk to you in the next one